everybody. So today we are going to kind of go over and do a Ninja Foodie 101. This is happens to be one of the favorite devices that I had on the truck while I was driving to cook food because it is so versatile. It is a multitasking demon. So we're going to kind of give an overlook. I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and we'll even discuss a couple of the other models that they have. This one right here happens to be the family size uh, eight quart, or six, no, sorry, six quart. There is a larger one. It is the deluxe model. It's the eight quart one, and it has a few more functions to it. It's also about twice as expensive. So the air fryer baking lid is attached to the side right here. It stays on the device. That to me was one of the drawbacks because it made storage in the truck a little bit more difficult. Storage at home is easy, but it just kind of added more things, but it is attached. On the inside, there's a fan right here that actually pushes hot air down into the device for baking, broiling, and sauteing. There's another heating element underneath here, so it also heats from the bottom, which is used for uh, mainly for the pressure cooking and the slow cooking side of things. So what this device comes with is, first of all, we've got an air frying basket and on the back of the bottom of the air frying basket, it has this little turbo thing. And what this does is this cycles air underneath so that when it blows air through the top, it also blows air to the bottom to evenly cook everything. So that's what that's for. It also has a rack that goes inside the air fryer. When you are cooking stuff on the air fryer mode, you don't wanna just pile everything in because you want everything to get exposed by the air. The air is essentially working like your hot oil. So if you have a lot of things, or like let's say you got uh, four pieces of chicken that you're trying to air fry, you can put two pieces on the bottom and then put the rack in and put two more pieces on top as long as it's not that hot or as long as the chicken is not that big. So uh, I would do bacon wrapped onion rings a lot in the truck and I would put a few down at the bottom, a few at the top to keep them separated so everything got crisp up really well. The other thing you can do with this basket, which works out pretty well, if you wanna air fry some bacon, you can put the bacon in here, air fry it, turn it a couple of times and you can get some really nice crisp bacon with out much of a mess, which was really nice on the truck. So the next part I'm gonna talk about is the pot itself. What I love about this pot and where I think it's superior to things like the Instant Pot and a lot of other devices is the fact that it's ceramic lined. Ceramic lining makes this thing so much easier to clean. Oftentimes I would take a soft scrubber, scrub it, a little bit of vinegar and water and wipe it out when I couldn't get to a faucet and I would have a clean device or a clean pot. So this thing is awesome. Put these things back. And the next thing it comes with is your roasting rack. Now, one of the things that I also like about this device where I find it's to me superior to an instant pot and a lot of the other similar to pressure cooking type devices out there is the fact that the pot is fairly wide and the rack is fairly wide. It is actually much wider than the instant pot, which was taller, but a bit more narrow. But when I cooked chicken in the uh, instant pot, when I had that, I had to either get a very small chicken or set it kind of upright in the, in the pan and slow cook it and it would just be the soft kind of pull apart chicken. With this one, I can put the chicken inside here and I can get up to like a six pound chicken and lay it down properly, put stuffing in there, do all the kind of cool stuff and roast it like I would be at home with an oven when I was out on the truck. So that was fantastic. One of the other really cool things about the multifunction of this is I was able to make meals faster because if I was gonna do, let's say that same chicken we're talking about, I could put the chicken in, pressure cook it first with the pressure cooking lid, and we'll go over this in a second, and then take the pressure cook lid off, take the chicken out, drain the moisture off, 
put it back in and put it on air crisp mode for a few minutes and get a really nice crispy golden brown skin. It was really awesome. The, the inside of the chicken would stay nice and juicy, very moist, and the outside of, or the outside of the chicken would be that really nice golden brown crispy skin, which is, is what you're looking for for a nice roast, roasted chicken. So it's really great for that. And it's the same, it goes for good sized roasts and things like that, that you can get in there. You can get that really nice texture on a roast, that bark, uh, by pressure cooking it first, getting it done, and then doing the roast mode. Now, let's go over the pressure cooking lid. So this lid is pretty much identical to what you would get when you get an Instant Pot. The Instant Pot, they both have this valve right here where you can open and close the vent. So if you want more pressure, you can close the vent. It does have an emergency release, so if the pressure builds up too much, that's what this is, it'll push this little thing up and allow the pressure to release so it doesn't explode. It is a little clunky sometimes to attach and take off the lid, but it's it works almost identical to the Instant Pots that I have. So if you have familiarity with the Instant Pots, it works pretty much identical to it. You cannot pressure cook or slow cook without this lid on. Here is a drawback. Uh, sometimes the electronic connector on the Ninja goes bad and when you put the pot on, it will not read. Uh, the, from the reviews that I've put on there, Ninja is pretty good about replacing the lids or replacing the parts or getting it fixed though. This is the gasket that goes on the inside of the pressure cook valve so it doesn't allow steam to replace. It's very easily removable and very easily cleaned. What you do not want to do with the, this part of the lid or this gasket is stick it through a dishwasher. They must be hand washed. Putting it through the dishwasher will actually help uh, destroy that, that sensor to let the pot know that the lid is on and then you can't use the pressure cook mode or anything like that. So, let's go over the functions real quick. Let me put this back on. Up here is your readout. You have the pressure cook, the steam, slow cooker, sear, saute, air crisp mode, bake and roast, broil. The deluxe model actually has a uh, mode to dehydrate so you can actually make jerky and things like that in it um, so if you want to pop for the larger model you can get that and it also the larger model has a yogurt function so you can actually ferment yogurt into your machine so the the air crisp and the broil this thing will get pretty dang hot it pulls a good amount of energy when you're using those functions but if you're traveling and you don't have a big inverter, if you use the slow cook or the pressure mode, you actually don't pull that much power. And one of the things I liked about this is that on the slow cook mode or on the uh, pressure cook mode on low, I can actually plug in a real easy 300 watt adapter and run it off my, my, uh, my nine volt plug in my truck instead of running it off the main uh, uh, inverter, the 1200 watt inverter. But anything that I function that I did above that had to be the 1200 watt or the uh, 1800 watt inverter. So that's the ins and outs of the Ninja Foodie. If you look on carrybrown.com, I actually have a few recipes that are on there that actually use the Ninja that I'd made while I was on the truck and some that I make here. And we are actually going to be making more recipes for this device as well as a few of the others. Now, the uh, this by far, I had a lot of devices on my truck that were multitaskers, and this far, this by far was my favorite device about this. And one of my favorite things about this, it was because of limited storage on the truck, I didn't have a lot of freezer space. I didn't have a lot of refrigerator space. And sometimes when I bought food, I had to cook it right away 
to in order to use it and sometimes I would buy things like a frozen chicken and I could actually pressure cook that chicken first and it would defrost and cook without having the thought and then I can air crisp it up so that was really awesome another one of my favorite things about this is the capacity this thing has a really good capacity with a wider base so that it really can accommodate a, a good amount of food in there so I could batch cook while I was on the truck especially for one person I could batch cook one time and have three or four days worth of food the um, the fact that it's so multifunctional that it can do such a variety of things also gave me an opportunity to use even the same ingredients but get very different effects with them by getting different textures and different ways. So it felt like I was having different meals. So I didn't get bored of my food all the time. That's what I really loved about it. Now, the things that I didn't care about, and it's actually different here in, in that I'm not in the vehicle, but when I was in the vehicle, storage on this thing could be challenging. It is a wide, very large piece, and it has all these extra pieces. The one thing that I didn't like is that you cannot put this rack and this pot in there at the same time and close the lid. So you had to store these things separately. I wish they would have made this in such a way where maybe it was a little bit taller that you could put this rack and keep everything together. And I wish also that you could remove this lid completely because whenever I pressure cooked inside the rig, with the lid up, it was really hard to find a position to put this in the rig, in the truck, with the lid up because it wouldn't fit on my shelf. So oftentimes when the lid was up and the pressure cook was on, I had to put it down on the floor and drive with it on the floor while it was cooking. So those are my two drawbacks, and those are mainly for the truck. But However, even at home, having all these extra pieces to store can be a little bit more cumbersome. If, if, if I were to design it, I would design it so everything that you, you need can fit inside or on it somehow. And I believe the deluxe model has a little bit more capability on that type of thing. All right, everybody, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and check below for links and possible discount codes and leave a comment, a question, a review, a request on a video that you might like to see. We try to get back to everybody as much as we can and uh, have a great day.